video uh, where I walk you through the latest features of uh, Assembly 64. This is mainly focused around uh, the new feature to create disks and fill disks with content and edit directory art on those disks. So we start. Here is now a folder called local folders. I have this created disks which uh, is the area where I can create, import and edit and export disks. I will start by creating a disk. Uh, I will create it as a D64 this time. Here uh, it's created. I can see it here. I now have an option to edit the disks and this open up um, a pet ski map, a few presets and user defined presets. I will go through this, but let me come back to that. I will first uh, show some other cool stuff. I can open this in a new window. It's a bit more convenient uh, because I can now use this here and I can browse all content that I have in assembly 64. So I can basically take this D64 and, oh sorry, it's not in edit mode. I need to open up the disk. Now I can drop it. I can uh, pick something here latest releases oh sorry i need to cancel this because now there is there is when you when you edit the disks it will be locked until you unlock it so you so you cannot uh, discard your work without knowing it so now I could easily drop this one here. Oh, that was uh, too big. Okay, so I delete this and then I do like this. Right. And now I have, uh, and this is, I, I can drop any content. I can browse anything uh, in Assembly 64 and so I can create my own disks exactly as I want them. I can now uh, here, just click on this and then I can activate the insert mode. I can um, add stuff here. I could uh, very well insert new lines here. I could then take this oh now I want that one I can move that one down and I can say I want oh sorry like this uh, then I activate insert mode and I do like this now this is quite nice directory art so of course I would like to save it so I do save selection as preset uh, light now i don't know why it's so so now i have it here so if i would have like to have insert this one i can easily just so i can create my collection of own dear art if i then wanted to have all of this as a preset I could save save like like this so so you can you can do pretty much ever, whatever you want here uh, yeah there is um, a line right a line left you can you can move drop drag drop as you want uh, you can insert uh, you can roll back so I can go back in history if I uh, did something that I do not uh, want. 
Uh, I can lock files, I can close files, I can change the type, I can here I can edit the size of the file, I can edit the directory. Sorry. I can edit the ID and when I I am satisfied, I click done. And the image is stored. Uh, quite convenient. Uh, now it should be as I stored it. Uh, yeah, I can import disks here. I can add disks and then I could do this one. I can view it and then I can go on and edit it uh, like I want. There are context menus uh, when we open up here, so you can pretty much do everything in the menu here you can do here. Uh, you have to play around with this to, to discover everything. You can rename file and, and so on. Uh, yeah, there is another hidden feature. If you find something here and open, oh, sorry, cancel. I can, there is a hidden menu here. So if you search something or find anything uh, or in Assembly 64, you can right click here and you can add this to create the disk. So then you take this DIA show and import it to, to, uh, to your uh, own private area. And here you can then edit it. This is uh, pretty much what I wanted to show. Um, yeah, me and the search, we hope you will enjoy this. And uh, yeah, there will be updates on this. There will probably be bugs left and so. Uh, we will improve this, of course. Uh, but this is uh, to be considered, considered as uh, version uh, 1.0. Thank you.